Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with my top 10 Minecraft mods for 1.20.1, and this time for September of 2023. And as usual, if you'd like to play with any of these mods, you can find them all in the description below. And anyway, let's go ahead and check them out. All right, to start things off, we have BN Blood Particles. And as one might expect, this mod adds blood particles to your game. And there's honestly quite a bit of them. When you get attacked or attack a creature, it's gonna cover a lot of area. And after there's been a few deaths, the ground's gonna be painted. And something I really like about this mod is the blood color actually matches the creature that's being attacked. Whether that's a zombie or a skeleton, an enderman, or yourself, the blood's gonna have a unique color. Next up, we have the Block of Sky mod, and this is a nice little mod that lets you bring the sky anywhere. Even if you're 200 blocks underground, you'll still be able to see exactly what the sky looks like at that particular moment in time. And the mod also provides a block of void, which allows you to place something with the appearance of the end portal. After that, we have a mod that's quite simple, but I honestly love to have installed, and this is the Fast Quit mod. And with this mod, mod installed, once you quit a world, you will immediately be on the main menu. No longer do you have to wait for it to save, it's just going to do that in the background while you're on the menu. And this really is a very simple effect, but it just makes the game feel so much faster. For our next mod, we have Ecospherical Expansion, and this is a world generation mod that actually provides quite a few different world generation presets. And for starters, if you'd like, you can just use the default variant, which looks fairly similar, except it'll add some more detail to the already existing biomes. But once you start selecting some of the other world generation generation types, things start to quickly change drastically. Most of these world generation presets are going to provide floating islands of some sort, but depending on the preset you select, they're going to come in many different sizes. And a lot of these presets even affect how the nether generates. Next up, we have the Fast Move Parkour Movement mod, and this mod actually adds some pretty functional parkour to the game. The three main sets of movement you've been giving is dive rolling, sliding, and wall running, and each of them actually work quite well. And sliding and diving both allow you to fit through one block holes depending on on how you use them, and wall running is pretty self-explanatory. Coming up next, we have the Lost Features mod, and this is a mod that provides many of the features to the game that were gonna appear, but didn't end up for one reason or another, usually due to a mob vote. And just a few of the features that have been added include fireflies, which were going to appear in mangrove swamps, barnacles, an ocean monstrosity that drags you to your death, and copper golems, which pretty much act as a button randomizer. So if you've been looking for a mod that adds a bunch of these long-lost features to the game, you should definitely give this one a try. The next mod I'll be showing you guys is yet another simple mod, but once again, something many of you may wish to have installed. And this is no hotbar looping. And all this mod's gonna do is make this so when you scroll to the end of your hotbar, it's gonna stop. It's not gonna roll over to the other side. So in order to get back to the other side of the hotbar, you have to scroll the other direction. And honestly, this is probably something that some people would love to have installed and other people just don't really care. But at the same time, I think it's a nice little feature and worth showcasing. And also, as you may have noticed me doing it, you can toggle this off whenever you'd like. Now, after that, we have Choice Theorem's Overhauled Village, and this is a mod that adds many new village variants to the game, depending on the biome you're in, and these are awesome because not only do the block types change when you're in these new villages, but the structures within them are going to be unique as well. And you already somewhat see this in vanilla Minecraft, but this mod takes it to the next level, and overall just makes discovering villages that much more exciting. Approaching the end, we have the Heartstone mod, and this is going to be a mod that you'll use specifically in multiplayer. All you have to do is craft the Heartstone, which will give you two of them, give that item to another player, and whenever you right-click it, it's going to point in their direction. So no longer are you going to have to ask for their coordinates over and over in order to reach them, you can just follow them no matter where they go. And finally, the last mod I'll be showing you guys today, and honestly maybe one of the craziest Minecraft mods I've ever seen, is Blockfront. And this is a mod that quite literally is going to convert Minecraft into another game, essentially. One that somewhat resembles something like Battlefield. Right away, you'll notice that the main menu is completely different, and once you enter a match, yes, there's literally matchmaking in this mod, you'll play a variety of different game modes that you're probably familiar with if you've played a shooter before. And honestly, everything ranging from the sound design to how the weapons feel is just downright amazing. And the mod's pretty underappreciated too. I was playing at fairly late hour, but at the time there's only 18 people online. But regardless of this, when I tried to find a match with other players, I was able to do so fairly quickly. Truly though, this mod's a pretty insane conversion, and I would absolutely recommend you give it a try, because it's a lot of fun. And that's going to do it for this video, I do hope you enjoyed, and if there's any other mods you think I should showcase in the future, be sure to let me know in the comments, and I'll absolutely check them out. And again, if any of these mods caught your attention, go ahead and download them from the description below. And anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.